the weather turned out to be really nice this afternoon and um, the sun came out, the wind completely died down and like it was last night and this morning where it was really stormy and so we've driven to Anglesey and we are off exploring in Newborough and we're walking through the forest at the moment on our way to the beach, it's about five kilometres to walk and we'll see if we'll get there for sunset tonight, if not we will, um, we're going to come back another day and um, yeah it's one of our favourite beaches on Anglesey and it's got a beautiful little lighthouse that I don't think they use anymore and um, yeah there's beautiful forest that you can walk through, there's lots of different walking routes and everything and so we're just going on a sunset mission and we'll see how far we get just walking through all these ferns right now and the one thing about this place apart from the bird that's just making some noise now is that it's super peaceful and dead quiet like you can't hear anything as soon as I stop talking there's just no sounds apart from that bird that's just started making some noise one thing we've noticed this year since being back in Wales compared to last year is that there are no parking and no overnight parking signs everywhere and um, in every lay-by, every sort of quiet little place that yeah. just last year there wasn't and it's not just like people putting signs up, it's actually council signs and so they've um, they've really clamped down on it which is a real big shame because there's so many beautiful little spots to, yeah. to park overnight and you know. I think it's because of last year, uh, last summer I think it was and I was reading a lot of articles about kind of bad news stories about camper vans leaving litter everywhere, pooing wherever they wanted. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it we're, is a big shame. But, but we're, we're kind of skeptical about those stories because everywhere we've been, it's been the local kids and people have parked, driven up and parked where we've parked at night time. Yeah, and by the morning, they've and... left their rubbish. So it's not the camper vans, it's the, it's, you know, I mean, obviously there probably is some camper vans doing it as well, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's easier to pinpoint the campers yeah. than it is maybe the odd tourist in I, their car. I feel like a lot of the stories are exaggerated as well because we've never seen anybody dumping rubbish or dumping toilets or anything like that. So no. we don't know how true they are. It's just yeah. a just easy way to target camper vans. Yeah, but we've realised we've just got to do our bit and obviously not make it any worse than it is. So this morning we've been running a bit of a errand trying to find somewhere to empty the toilet because all the campsites are pretty much fully booked and the ones that we've called up and said oh we'd be happy to pay to empty our toilet they've basically said no so uh yeah so a bit of a sticky situation but we are dealing with it and we think we found somewhere that we can empty the toilet in a proper way so um Hopefully we can get that done and then we're going to go find somewhere to work for the day and somewhere that's good signal. So we're in the, a town at the moment which seems like it's pretty good and we saw a park up a little bit further back. So spend the day because it's raining today so just spend the day working and catching up on um, emails and all the other bits of work that we need to do. So we just stopped for some lunch at this viewpoint over just on the other side of Anglesey so that's the mainland there and there's the suspension bridge coming across Anglesey and there's also the second bridge coming across and you can actually see um, Mount Snowdon there and Gribcock and um, yeah all the mountains they're a little bit under cloud at the moment but we were wondering what this little um, island is here and um, basically I read on the sign that it's a fish trap so there's like a wall that goes around here and then when the tide drops and goes out all the fishes get stuck behind the wall and they can um, catch them then so it's a, it's a little fishery it's pretty cool isn't it Can you tell us where we've just arrived? Because I can't say it without laughing. Yes, you can. Oh, <laughs> Which beach have we just arrived at? Now? The Hawk <laughs> Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I've already said it completely wrong. I don't know. Are you going to say it again? It's spelled D A R. That's no, not, it's Porth Duff. Duffoosh. <laughs> say it again. Who was saying it earlier? Duffoosh. Porth Duff. Duff. Foosh. <laughs> you weren't saying foosh earlier. Oh look at that, in front of us. Oh, uh, change topic. We've arrived at the beach and we're just sat on the beach at the moment, taking it all in, watching the tide come in and it's really nice. There's like a lot of kayakers that come here I think because um, they're all packing up their kayaks. I don't know how good it would be for paddle boarding but there's a bit of a breeze so you might get blown away. <laughs> But yeah, um, it's taken quite a long time today just to get things sorted in the van, like yeah. basically empty all of the stuff. 
all of the toilet stuff and the bins and now everything is full so we can just explore for the next couple of days which is exciting um, it's been a bit of a pain I think I mentioned earlier a lot of the campsites are fully booked now because it is the summer holidays and they aren't allowing people just to fill up water or empty toilet waste or anything like that so um, we've had to be resourceful I guess is what creative. I'd say creative <laughs> but creative responsively and um, yeah looking forward to maybe having some dinner here on the beach later and hopefully watch the sunset maybe so we've just been playing some frisbee on the beach and Hannah almost killed somebody what happened? I think killed somebody I, I timed it perfectly so that the frisbee literally just went in front of their head as they were walking away from me any closer and it would have taken their head off <laughs> I think he was very polite I said oh I'm sorry I'm so rubbish and he was just like in shock <laughs> he uh, almost died that's why he almost got beheaded <laughs> made it to South Stack Lighthouse which is in the north of west Anglesey? tip of Anglesey. Well, well it's, is it Holy? It's not technically Anglesey is it? It's no. uh, Holy Island or Holy, Holy Island. Island. Holy, Holy Island. Holy Island. Holy Island. Spelt with one L. Yeah. So um, yeah we're just going up to the, see the lighthouse now and then we might park around this area because we've heard that you can park overnight here as long as you leave early and respectful so we'll find out because um, yeah we had a note left on our van this morning. Um, basically saying we're going to cause fires by staying in our van in a car park which seems a bit extreme um, but yeah it's been a good day the weather's cleared up and it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow so we're going to carry on exploring the island and we'll show you the lighthouse in a minute when we get there So we've made it all the way down to South Stack Lighthouse. Um, it's closed today, but we're past the hours anyway because we're here in the evening. So it's just walking down the steps for a really cool view of the lighthouse, and it's really cool. And the, um, there's supposed to be puffins around here, but we haven't seen any yet. But there's lots of seagulls out, and um, yeah, we're hoping to try to spot a puffin, but I don't think we will. And then um, yeah, we're probably going to go and relax in the van this evening. Make sure we can find a good park up, hopefully maybe around this area. And then tomorrow we're going to head to some beaches because the weather's supposed to be good. So we're at the final bit of the steps now, we can't go any further um, because there's a big sign here and then it's all barricaded off. But yeah, it's a pretty epic walk down. Hannah was saying it felt like a little bit like the Minac Theatre steps in Cornwall when we were walking down. Um, but yeah, it's worth a visit. The lighthouse is actually on its own island. There's a bridge that connects the, um, the main, this island, to that island. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. I'll show you now. So this is the bridge you have to go across, and that's the lighthouse island. And apparently no dogs are allowed on the island. So if you've got a dog and you bring it to here, it's got to stay here. So pretty. I said that it feels like we're at the end of the world. Because <laughs> you literally can't see anything like past the lighthouse. And there's supposed to be puffins, but we didn't, haven't seen any yet. It's a bit windy down here as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very beautiful though. There's so many seagulls flying around the lighthouse and I think puffins don't like seagulls so our chances of seeing any puffins are quite slim. But um, yeah, we'll keep our eye out and if we see one, we'll let you know. So we've only got to walk about a million steps back up to the top now. <laughs> it's easier going down than up, isn't it? You should count how many. One million. <laughs> This morning Hannah's been giving the van a nice spring clean down there and um, the cats have been keeping a close eye on things. So there's Sky. Hello. <laughs> and um, Tia's just gone back to her food bowl but she was keeping her eye on things as well. So um, they're making sure you're doing a good job. Yeah, it's hard work. <laughs> I haven't done a deep spring clean in a while but it is very satisfying. Good morning everybody, um, we've just 
been driving along the road here in Anglesey. We've come back down from the north and we found this beach and we've just stopped um, to have a little walk, stroll around it. And we just found a sign that said there's an ancient um, burial chamber somewhere along the coast. So we were thinking we're going to go have a wander along there and see if we can find it. It says it's um, pointing out towards the Irish Sea. So um, yeah, we're going to go try and find it. Apparently there's, um, is, did it say it's prehistoric art in there? So. Yeah, so a burial chamber on a mound and there should be some sort of art in there. So we'll go have a look and see what we find. And then um, I'm not quite sure what this name of the beach is, but it's very beautiful. So we think this is the burial chamber and we think there might be a big hole so you can see down into it. Oh, no. Bigger. It's just a big solar panel. <laughs> Fail. Found it. Found it. So we're guessing that solar panel at the top probably just powers any lights that are in here as you can see. Even though it's not many lights. They don't have the lights on. No. I'm not sure how much you can see on the camera. Oh, there, the lights came on just then. There's a light in the corner there. I think some of the bulbs are gone. So not quite Stonehenge, but <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, you can see some artwork on some of the rocks. Yeah, not the rocks are so green, I thought they were like, you Lit know, like light. luminous lights <laughs> or something, but that looks like it's just covered in that greeny... Yeah, moss. you can see like on these ones here where the, um, yeah. it's obviously before they covered, covered it, it was exposed to the elements and it's just really made it green. I guess, but wasn't it there, maybe buried when they excavated it? Maybe. But we think that, I don't know if you can really see it on this camera, but there's a stone that sits on top of other stones here and probably the whole thing was like a dome and covered in stones. And we think that that's the last one, so they probably covered it to protect the final thing. So apparently this is what the artwork's supposed to look like. It's hard to see though. This is a daily occurrence with two cats, especially a tear. When oh. Hannah's making lunch or something, they just want to sniff. Whoa, her nose right, right in it. <laughs> Avocado nose. So we've just arrived on the second beach of the day and we're at a beach called Treyeth Moor and we're right ne near a um, racetrack and you can hear all the cars are like zooming past each other and um, yeah really nice little spot lots of crabs along this beach which I'll show you in a bit and we've got some lovely sand dunes behind us so yeah we've just been chilling out on the beach and there's also really lovely views of the mountains just over here I think that's is it Snowdon? Snowdonia peaks over there. So yeah, really nice day. The sun came out earlier and it's not too busy. It's a Saturday and we've got a nice little spot all to ourselves. So we're going to head back to the van now and do some planning for where to go tonight and um, we've got burgers on the menu tonight. Mm. And then tomorrow we're going to head to the beach just around the corner there. gave up and flopped on the floor. <laughs> yeah, when they flop you know that they can't be bothered anymore. Oh but oh you wanna get down though? Oh come on then. Where are you going now? Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So we've just decided to take Sky out for a walk because it's quite quiet where we are at the moment and um She's actually been sat at the door waiting to go out, so we thought, why not? Let's put her on the lead and see how she does. So she's really enjoying it actually so far, and uh, she's got really relaxed. She's catching flies. She even likes. There's a couple of slugs on the ground. She had a little sniff of one of those. Um, so yeah, she's kind of <laughs> she's playing over there with Johnny in the longer longer grass in the sand dunes. She's having a great time. 
So yeah, she might be a bit unhappy when we have to put it back in the van. We did take her back to the van just a second ago because she was like running back. And then we got to the van and then she's like, nah, actually, I want to stay outside. <laughs> There's loads of rabbits around here. Notice. No, we're not going down the hole. So now it's round two with Tia. You having fun? Tia. Good morning everybody, we're back in um, Newborough for our final day on Anglesey and um, we're just walking around the woods at the moment but today we're going to go to the beach and hopefully catch a nice sunset this evening. Um, but yeah, we were here the other day uh, for sunset but we didn't quite get all the way down to the beach, we just walked around and watched the sunset through the trees so we're hoping to have a nice day out. Yeah, the lovely pine trees and apparently there's lots of red squirrels here so maybe we'll be lucky and spot a red squirrel. Fingers crossed. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's really, lo really lovely, um, like massive sand dunes as well on the beach and apparently it's one of the few places that you can see mountains, trees and beaches yeah, so all in one place. So it's really cool because you've got the forest that goes right up to the edge of the beach and then you've got uh, views across the beach to Snowdonia and then you've got the beautiful ocean as well so it's a really cool place to come and we'll, um, we'll go down to the beach in a bit. We've had a lovely walk through the forest and now we're going to head back to the van and grab some lunch. Yep. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had a bit of a break in the van, we've had some lunch and then we've headed to um, Newborough Beach so we went walking around the forest earlier and now we've come to the beaches but we've come to the island off the beach which has the lighthouse and also several little smaller beaches so we've just um, come to one of the smaller beaches and we've got it all to ourselves so we're just um, taking some photos enjoying the sun because the sun's come out and the blue skies are all out this afternoon and then we're going to just go enjoy the sunhouse, uh, sunhouse lighthouse in a bit and um, the drone shots look really cool around this area as well. So after a couple of quick outfit changes, taking some photos for Instagram, we're going to move on to a new location and eventually work our way to the lighthouse. But this is just paradise here, especially when the sun's out. This little island is incredible, so pretty and there's so many little beaches dotted round and when the sun comes out it just makes everything so golden, there's like this grass everywhere and the pebbled um, or the sand, the sand, sand, the seashells um, on the paths and it's just so peaceful and so pretty and um, most people have gone home now for dinner, got some snacks with us to keep us going till sunset and um, I think we're going to make our way to the lighthouse now I think. It's so beautiful here when the sun comes out it just makes everything so golden and um, it's just covered in like grass and pink flowers and dotted with lots of little kind of hidden beaches that you can just get all to yourself because everybody else has gone home for dinner haven't they? Yeah. So, and all the um, paths here are made of like little trails. Yeah, so they're all like these white paths. 
can see here, it's all broken shells, which is crazy. I don't know how, how that works, but yeah, you can actually see all the little bits. You can see the shells a bit better here. So I'm guessing somebody just laid down all the shells and then after everybody's trodden on them, it just turns into a white path. So we've just made it to the lighthouse and um, what we love about this place is it's just so peaceful. There's beaches all around the island, you've got this beautiful lighthouse and the light just hits it like it is now in the afternoon and the evening time and it just makes the whole place like light up and glow. Yeah, it's like a painting isn't it? Mm. It's like something you'd see in a movie or something. It yeah. doesn't look real. Exactly. Last year when we were here there was actually like artists sitting on this bit here like sketching and painting the, um, the lighthouse. Oh, so. That's what I should have thought. Yeah. <laughs> it's just perfect. Yeah. What snacks have you got for us? <laughs> well, it's hard to share these snacks because I love them so much, but we went to Morrison specifically to get these. They are fruit, nut and chocolate mix. My mum got me these one, one time and I've been addicted ever since. They basically got loads of little bits of chocolate, like little, um, how do you describe it? Little like biscuit chocolate and then like actual chunks of chocolate. And then there's healthy nuts in there as well, but there's also really yummy nuts that are like caramelised, caramelised almonds I think. So good and then there's like bits of dried fruit as well. So yeah, I could eat this all to myself but I am sharing. <laughs> Very kind of you. Yeah, you're welcome. We're not, this is not sponsored. When we came here last year, there was loads of people here and um, that wasn't even in school holidays. And now we're in the middle of school holidays and there's no one here. We've got the whole place to ourselves, which is crazy. It's a Sunday evening though, so... Yeah, maybe they've all gone home. I don't know if they all got work tomorrow, <laughs> so they're like, gotta get home. But I reckon there'll be a few more people because there's still a couple of hours till sunset, so yeah. maybe the keen landscape photographers will be here in a bit. excited because she thought you could stay in these cottages. I'm staying here for the night. <laughs> okay. I'm home. Oh, let me. They didn't get the memo. <laughs> Wrong day. It's next weekend. <laughs> Just made it to a, the original lighthouse. I don't even know if it is a lighthouse, but it looks like it, doesn't it? rustic version. <laughs> this is if you can't afford the first lighthouse. I quite like this one though. No windows. <laughs> Probably a bit dark. Need lots of candles. A bit of a cave in here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Are you just about fit? Uh, yeah. Needs a door knob. I can't get over the views though. So beautiful, so peaceful. Yeah, I think this has got to be my favourite part of Anglesey. Yeah, 100%. So we're going to start heading back to the van now and then we're going to drive back to the mainland 
and um, yeah that's our time on Anglesey finished we've got a few more days left in Wales before heading back for another project um, back home yeah but we've loved it here I've yeah. like, had such a nice day here feel very at peace don't we and yeah like, it's super peaceful don't want to leave and it's been the perfect ending to our Anglesey trip because the sun's just come out it's been calm it's been relaxed and it's been mm. a really nice, nice day we've seen the sun in a while yeah <laughs> So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.